welcome you back to this channel technical drawing masterclass so today we are going to look at third angle orthographic projection using the autocad interface so right here i have an isometric object but then this isometric object is uh, cut longitudinally through its midpoint so it's from here that i'm going to generate a cross-sectional front elevation so first we shall first draw uh, the plan then we draw the cross-sectional front elevation then we shall end up with the end elevation so let's start i'll first begin with the plan then we draw the cross-sectional front elevation then i'll end up with the end so the end will be this surface here then the front will be i mean the plan will be this so first i'm going to draw a rectangle whose dimensions will be 600 by 1100 remember we are going to start with the plan So I'll feed in 1100, I press the tab key and I feed in 600. So I'll export that uh, rectangle. Then I'll move this rectangle up to there. So after that, I'm going to first draw uh, this portion here. So it is 500 millimeters of this edge so i'll highlight this line here i'll offset it the distance of 500 so right here i have a hole that runs from the top of this isometric object up to the bottom i want to, to locate it its position on this uh, isometric block so first i'll get the midpoint of 500 which is 250 so i'll offset 250 so it's from that middle line that i'll offset 100 and also 100 to get this 200 So from here, I'll offset 100. And also here, 100. So the length is 400 and the width is 200 for this hole. So, but here, the total length here is 600. That means this hole is offsetted 100 millimeters from this edge and also this side it is offset 100 millimeters from this other edge so this is what i'm going to do here i'll click at the bottom line and i'll offset it by 100 then i'll do the same thing here 100 so i'll trim off these lines because we no longer need them so we have our hollow surface so next i'm going to locate uh, this slanting surface but then remember when you are at the top of this isometric object you will see this slanting surface as a horizontal plane so in that case i'll consider 300 so i'll offset 300 from this line the 
and this slanting surface is offset 200 millimeters from this edge here so i'll offset 200 click enter and also here 200 i click enter so i trim off these ones okay Then also we have a second hole here, but for it is 50 millimeters of the slanting edge. And also it is 50 millimeters of this edge. So I'll put in 50. Then it's of length 200 and width 200. That means it's a, a square hole. That means here yeah, I'll offset 200. Okay. So I'll trim off here. And also there. So we are done with that plan. So I want to show you how you can come up with the cross-sectional front elevation. So I'm going to use projection lines. I'll click at the layers tab. I choose projection lines. Click at the line tool. I'll project down those lines. So I'll try to copy them. So still, I'll use the rectangle tool. Put in 1,100. Press the tab key. And I put in 600. Press enter. Then after that, I'll explode it. Then after, I'll move it right here. So I'll copy this line to that point, also to that point, and also to that point. When, when you cut this isometric object, like the way this cutting plane is placed, at the part of the object that you'll be seeing, you'll be seeing this hole running through this object. Okay, so let's offset is 100 millimeters for this line here so i'll click there click offset and i'll feed in 100 then i'll offset this 300 since we want to locate uh, the position of this slanting edge or surface So I'll fit in 300. Then after, I'll join that point, that point. Then after, I'll trim off that, that line. Then I'll also trim that one, also these two.
So after that, we just need to join these ones here. So I'll use the hash tool command, which is this one, just to indicate where the cutting plane cut that object. So this is what I'll be talking about. For this hole, it goes through this object from top up to bottom. Then also we have this hole right here which is here. Yeah. So for the cross-sectional front elevation, you'll be seeing all these details. So let's draw the end elevation. So for the end, we shall draw a slanting line, but incline that 45 from this horizontal. So still we shall employ our projection line. So I'll project these lines. So still I'll project it down and also and I'll copy that line to that point and also to that point and also to that point and I'll select that line I will copy it that point that point and also that point and I'll try to trim off this unnecessary part of the lines so still our project as lines so I'll copy that line that point that point okay so I'll just extend this other line Trim of the zones. So I'll construct. So I'll explode it. So I'll just copy this to that. Then the other thing is I'll also include the slanting 
on surface. So now remember that uh, we have this hole that is running through uh, this object from top to bottom. So in our end, remember the end, we are standing right here. So we won't be able to see how this uh, hole runs through this object. That's why we are going to include it here with uh, hidden lines. So I will activate my layer for hidden lines. So remember, the projection line runs from this point up to that point, then up to that point. So from there, I'll draw that line up to the bottom. So I'll make it dotted. Then also, I'll do the same thing with this line. So I'll make it dotted. So I'll also do the same thing right here. So I'll copy this. That to that other point. So now uh, the dotted lines for this point here are for this hole. This, uh, this second hole. So remember for it, it's projection lines. They run from this point. So they share the same projection lines with the slanting edge. Okay, so this is it. So I have the plan, the section of front, and the end elevation. So I'll reduce these ones to maybe 80, the transparency, such that you're able to configure out all the views, how they appear. So this is it. So next I'm going to put dimensions. So I'll activate my layer with dimensions. So I click there. So the next thing 
we are going to name these views so I'll click on the text tool the plan plan view So this one will be a cross section front elevation. So this one will be the end elevation. We have come to the end of this video. If this video has been of helpful to you, please you can give it a like by subscribing, liking and commenting. Uh, please don't forget to share. Uh, if you have a friend who needs this kind of information, please you can share this kind of content to him or her. I wish you a happy new year. Stick to this channel. It's going to teach you all the basics you need in drawing. Thanks for watching. We'll meet next time.